Eject! Plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Ah! Ah! Bro, you! It is my favorite Alburo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! Rachel, you boys. Take your baby by the hand. So top! I mean, we know it was Diaz busted our deal, so why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real fresh. What are you doing? I'm just adjusting myself, she-devil. Wearing these animal eyes does get a bit itchy. Um, okay. You never answered my question. What do you think of Vice City? Your land and people have a lot in common with my... It's time for Land Span Stand! The population is a bit old. And, mind you, starting out to raid passing ships is fine. But we needed a new land to have our way with. Granted, we roll and sail to an area, land in force, and burn down a local monastery or village, whereas you come in, destroy all the creatures, and sell plastic versions of them. You did a fine job pillaging these lands, but you should have done something about Canada. Wait a minute there, Buster. My mother's half Canadian. Oh, what are you... Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! and for Dan as fast as you can! You should have continued to the north and... Eat it! Eat it! Sleep with the fish! Beware the magpie, which is the devil. Evil reigneth when darkness falls. Are you married? You seem like a tough character to live with. Hi, me wife Helga. What a hag. This show is not sexist, whatever certain bearded women might say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah, go live in a chimney, you troll. The 20th century women are all the same. And me hag Helga, she felt pretty in many ways. She says to me, I'm done with all that, daddy! I have no need no more. I'm going to meetings. See? That's your problem. As soon as you start talking about the people are preaching, the roof drops, and everyone else is going to do. Not pillage or thunder no more, but live in boxes. Then she says, Lord, I'm getting these stomach stages. I look fat. I'll get a few acts here. Before three years ago, I'm going to die. I say, wench, don't come crying to me when we're in a long boat crossing the straits for two moons, and you're all skin and bones. A man needs something to grab onto. I ain't her fault. A cursed pixie goblin got her. Pixie Goblin, what kind of weird ancient nonsense are you talking about? Now, Thor, I've got to ask you, how old are you? More trouble up ahead! You want some of this? Are you shy about your age? <laughs> you laugh about it like my mom. Thor is never shy. Thor is mighty. Thor is a god. And where are you from? From the beginning of the flat earth, where the sun meets the sky. Oh, right. By the beach. Great. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with... Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic. Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Somebody's bound to know me.